गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू ऑल एट योर फेवरेट यूट्यूब चैनल विज्ञान विहान दिस इज अवर प्रॉब्लम सोल्यूशन सीरीज ऑफ जनरल एप्टीट्यूड पार्ट ए ऑफ यू जी सी सी एस आई आर नेट इन दिस वीडियो वी विल सोल्व प्रॉब्लम नंबर इलेवन टू सिक्सटीन ऑफ फिजिकल साइंसेज पेपर फॉर जून टू थाउजेंड सिक्सटीन लेट्स स्टार्ट द सोल्यूशन प्रॉब्लम नंबर इलेवन इज द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस एपिसोड In friends the first problem of this episode problem number 11 the relationship among the numbers in each corner square is the same as that in the other corner squares find the missing number there is a puzzle consists of 15 non numbers and we will have to find out the unknown number option 1 10 option 2 8 option 3 6 option 4 12 In this problem, there is a big square. On its each corner, there are four squares. On lower right side corner square is unknown. We will have to find out that quantity. Let's read the question. The relationship among the numbers in each corner square is the same as that in the other corner squares. find the missing number let's see what is the relation between the numbers in this square in this square and in the third square then we will calculate the unknown number in the first square we see here there are given options 10 8 6 12 12 in these given squares here are number 7 9 Here are eight, ten. Here are three, five. In that condition, here would be four, then six. We will attempt. The answer is option three, six. We will reconfirm it that what is the real logic between those squares. Then add the all four numbers of a small square you will get 7 plus 9 is 16 13 plus 15 is 28 we add 16 plus 28 you will get 44 the sum of the squares numbers for the second square we will calculate 8 plus 10 it is 18 14 plus 12 it is 26 Add the number eighteen plus twenty six is now forty four. The whole sum of the numbers of this square is forty four. For the third square, it is three plus five, it is eight. For eleven plus twenty five, it is thirty six. Add eight with thirty six, we will get forty four, which is the whole sum of the number of this square. In that condition. the whole sum of the numbers of fourth square will also be equal to 44 let the unknown number is x then add the numbers x plus 4 plus 16 plus 18 is equals to 44 now calculate x plus 20 plus 18 it is 44 this is x plus 38 It is equals to forty four. Then x is equals to forty four minus thirty eight. This is six now. That is confirmed that the correct answer of this problem is option three six. Problem number twelve. Which of the following best approximates sine zero point five degree? Option one zero point five. Option two. 0.5 multiply with pi by 90 option 3 0.5 multiply with pi by 180 option 4 0.5 multiply with pi by 360 here is the next problem of this episode problem number 12 this is a easy problem we will have to calculate that the approximate value of sin 0.5 degree the value of 
साइन 0.5 डिग्री में भी कैलकुलेटेड बाय द सीरीज ऑफ साइन साइन ऑफ एक्स वैल्यू कैन बी कैलकुलेटेड बाय एक्स माइनस एक्स क्यूब बाय थ्री फैक्टोरियल प्लस एक्स पावर फाइव बाय फाइव फैक्टोरियल माइनस एक्स पावर सेवन बाय सेवन फैक्टोरियल प्लस दिस रिलेशन कैन बी यूज्ड ओनली व्हेन द एक्स एंगल इज इन द यूनिट रेडियन हियर इट इज in the question the sin 0.5 the angle is in degree the degree angle angle 180 degree is equals to pi so 0.5 degree angle may be calculated by pi upon 180 degree multiply it 0.5 so this is a so much less quantity this quantity the theta angle is tends to zero this is the limit in that condition the sin x will be converted into x the higher order of x will be neglected so sin x may be written as x so when we change this angle 0.5 degree we can write it sin of pi upon 180 multiply it with 0.5 the value of the sign can be written as only which is now 0.5 multiply with pi upon 180 the correct answer is here the correct answer of this problem is option 3 0.5 multiply with pi upon 180 problem number 13 there are three given figures in the problem we will have to find out the next figure in this series from the given four options what comes next in the sequence friends here is the next problem problem number 13 in the given problem there is a sequence of figures we will have to find out the next unknown figure if we watch it carefully these are the upper half of the alphabetic letters this is half of the a this is half of the second letter b this is half of the third letter c this is half of the fourth letter d then the third letter would be e according to the logical sequence but in this series only upper half of the letter is given so if i try to choose the proper option we will get the only upper half of the e then our answer is option 3 problem number 14 which of the following statements is logically incorrect option 1 i always speak the truth option 2 i occasionally lie option 3 i occasionally speak the truth option 4 i always lie friends here is the next problem of this episode problem number 14 there are given four statements we will have to find out that which statement is logically incorrect we will have to find out the incorrect statement then underline it the first statement is i always speak the truth a person can speak always truth then he can say i always speak the truth this is correct sentence the statement 2 i occasionally lie it is possible that some person logically speak false statement then he can say i occasionally lie option 3 statement 3 i occasionally speak the truth this is also possible this is vice versa situation for the statement second he all a person who occasionally lie he occasionally speak the truth then the same person can say the third statement also 
द फोर्थ स्टेटमेंट आई ऑलवेज लाई दिस इज पॉसिबल दैट वन पर्सन ऑलवेज लाई इन दैट कंडीशन अदर पर्सन कैन से दैट दिस पर्सन ऑलवेज लाई बट द सेम पर्सन हिमसेल्फ कैन नॉट से दैट ही ऑलवेज लाई इन दैट कंडीशन इफ ही से दैट ही ऑलवेज लाई दैट मीन यू आर बिलीविंग ऑन हिज स्टेटमेंट बट द पर्सन ऑलवेज लाई सो इफ ही ऑलवेज लाई देन ही कैन से आई ऑलवेज स्पीक ट्रथ इन दिस कंडीशन द पर्सन हु ऑलवेज लाई विल नेवर से दैट आई ऑलवेज लाई इन दैट कंडीशन दिस स्टेटमेंट इट सेल्फ विल वियोलेट द रूल ऑफ हिज लाइनेस सो दिस सेंटेंस the fourth statement is logically incorrect so the correct answer of this problem is option 4 i always lie last problem of this episode problem number 15 how many times starting at 1 pm would the minute and hour hand of the clock make an angle of 40 degree with each other in the next 6 hours option 1 6 option 2 7 option 3 11 option 4 12 friends here is the last problem of this episode problem number 15 in this problem the problem is based on clocks minute and hour hands according to the question we will have to count how many times starting at 1 am at initial time this is 1 am in the clock how many times starting at 1 pm okay would the minute hands of a clock make an angle of 40 degree with each other in next 6 hours then the last time is 1 pm plus 6 that is 7 pm so this is 7 we will have to count for how many numbers there would be angle 40 degree between hour hand and minute hand first we calculate the angle between those two hands from 12 to 3 it is 90 degree divide it by 3 to get the angle between 12 and 1 we will get 90 degree upon 3 this is 30 degree so initially it is 30 degree so when the minute hand moves towards 1 2 and then 3 in that condition when the minute hand goes to somewhere between 2 and 3 it would be 40 degree angle this is count 1 but the minute hand is moving like this and when the 2 pm time will occur what would be the situation now it is 1 2 and 3 now this is the situation the hour hand is now here the minute hand is now here so here is now angle 60 degree that is 30 plus 30 degree this this is 60 degree angle so in the first hour from 1 pm to 2 pm how many times the situation of 40 degree angle will take place it is number one we will count it again from 2 pm when the minute hand will go after 2 pm when minute hand will move towards the next number 1 it would be somewhere in between 12 and 1 this angle would be now again 40 degree this is count plus 1 now after 2 o'clock 
when in clock it would be the hour hand is between 2 and 3 the minute hand would be somewhere here but the minute hand is moving when it goes between 12 and 1 it will make 40 degree angle then in the next situation when the minute hand will go and move towards 3 4 like this and again the same situation will occur this is plus 40 degree angle it was minus 40 degree angle so between 2 pm and 3 pm there would be two conditions so we will count it is number 1 plus 1 so write it here two counts between 2 pm to 3 pm similar situation will be for other hours also we can count it again for the first condition it is minus 40 degree for second condition it is plus 40 degree we will count it two counts after 3 pm and before 4 pm it is now 4 pm so after 4 pm you can count it again the hour hand is here the minute hand would be somewhere here for minus 40 degree and for again it is plus 40 degree so we can write here 4 pm to 5 pm there would be number 2 of such occurrence here on in the first figure here it is from 1 pm to 2 pm 1 from 2 pm to 3 pm 2 from 3 pm to 4 pm it is 2 from 4 pm to 5 pm it is 2 in the similar situation for 5 to 6 also this is count 2 now we start it again from 6 pm on 6 pm the situation is that minute hand is on 12 the hour hand is on 6 now the minute hand will move from 12 to 3 and to 4 to 5 between 4 to 5 the minute hand will make Minus forty degree angle. When this minute hand will move and goes between seven and eight, it would make again forty degree angle. But this time it is plus forty degree angle. Before it will go to twelve. When it would be seven o'clock. So before making seven o'clock. there would be plus 2 such condition where there would be 40 degree angle between minute hand and hour hand so we can add these times to get the answer 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 that is 11 times the correct answer of this problem is option 3 11 Friends you can download the paper in PDF form from the Google Drive link given in the description below Keep practicing Thanks for watching our video Please like this video If you like this video please share it with your friends Please subscribe this channel and don't forget to tap on the bell icon so that you can get notification Thank you